Adrian, you were the frontman of the sound. The sound was reckoned as one of the most important and influential bands in the 80s. Uh, when you look back, uh, do you agree with this? Uh, well, I wouldn't say most. You know, I think there are bands that are more influential, like New Order, I think, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But among a, sm a sort of a small number of people, a lot of musicians were maybe influenced by the sound. I think um, my lyrics as well. They became like a kind of um, a rock style mm -hmm. for the 80s in a way. I, I don't think people really realise how much lyrics changed, you know, between 1979 and 1984. And one of the kind of the styles and the type of words being used, you know, I mean, I'm sure that a lot of people who write lyrics were like listening to the sound and stuff like that. In a way, we're trying to do two things. We're trying to be quite realistic mm -hmm. and, and sing about things that actually mattered. Yeah. And at the same time, um, uh, bring our own personalities into that. So it wasn't just really, uh, you, you know, a straightforward kind of uh, political pop music or something, which can get a bit boring, I think. It was more to do with, um, uh, I think someone wrote once, it's more to do with the neuroses of, yes, it, it had, of, it, of, the, of the 80s, you know, yeah. kind of like one person's particular view, which is mainly mine, you know, uh, you know, just kind of writing that kind of, it's like more the personal reaction to the way that the world is, yeah. rather than telling people how to change it or something. Yeah, that way it had a very strong yeah. undercurrent, you could say. Yeah, and, and I think that's what made the sound uh, intense, yeah. that kind of thing. Why did you broke up in 1987? What was the main reason, you well, think? Well, the main reason was quite a lot, there's, no, there's loads of reasons, there's too many reasons really, but um, I got really depressed and, and I think generally we just felt that uh, we'd, we'd run, gone as, gone as far as we could, yeah. and musically as well a little bit, you know, I think maybe um, uh, we could have ch changed direction again, but it, it was quite difficult with the sound because we were, every song we tried to make it a different song, we never really wrote winning number two or... And or that, Missiles number two or something, you know. We try to, every, every song we try to get a different uh, musical uh, area. What amazed me that in, in Holland you were very popular, while in England you were yeah. very underrated. Can you, can you explain that uh, some way or another? Mm -hmm. I think England's more concerned with uh, style and the looks of people and, and, and stuff like that, you know, the glamour of pop. And maybe in Holland there's more of it. Holland's still got kind of a rock scene, it's mm -hmm. hard to explain it, but... Well, they did it in the early 80s anyway. I think now maybe it's dying a little bit, maybe... I get the feeling that a new band... I mean, when we first toured Holland, we were getting 400 people a night, you know, mm -hmm. for the first time we ever played anywhere. Um, and I think it would be hard for a new band now to do that. It's all up to you Sometimes I think Most times I choose Not to for once in my life What are your plans in the future? Still Adrian Brown to the Citizens or are your new, new well, projects? I mean, uh, I mean, the Citizens was also part of the fact that the album was called Alexandria, which mm -hmm. is uh, in Egypt, you know, like a city. Bright so, city. So in other words, I could drop the Citizens any time, the name. Mm -hmm. But I mean, uh, Adrian Bullen is such a boring name, I think. Well, to go out Adrian Bullen, it's not like David Bowie, you know, <laughs> or Iggy Pop. I mean, I wish I'd thought of that Iggy Pop, you know. Oh, it's Iggy on the phone. <laughs> 
in the summer I'm going to make a new record, I think. And it might be something completely different again. I, I, I like to shake up people's expectations of what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll lose my audience like that. But, <laughs> but, but can I, I say know. in a way that we'll see the, uh, the brighter side of Adrian Broland in the future? This was my bright side. This album is, is my bright side. Everything, it gets darker after this. <laughs> I don't know. I, don't, I really don't know.